Hi, morning everyone. Welcome. It's a good morning, good Monday morning. So hope all of you are, you know, having a wonderful Monday morning. Okay, soon is going to be the fasting month of beginning, I think, April 24th. Hi, morning, Sharinya. Okay, so we will continue with our uh, lessons to today for reading. Uh, just uh, those who have submitted their essay to me, I have gone through your essays. I have um, made com comments for you that um, it's on the Google Drive and I've shared with you the link. So if you go to the link that I've put into the feedback, you can look at the comments. So thank you so much. And the Google Form link has been closed if you need to submit you can either directly email to me for my pupils in 3 Chumalang. You can upload straight away to Google Classroom. All right. It's not a problem. Um, okay. Um, Li Hong, not a problem at all. Uh, Li Hong, you didn't come on uh, the Form 4 class, is it, Li Hong? Missed you anyway. Right. Okay. So let's start. Today we are doing a reading. Okay, so um, our objective would be to, at the end of the lesson, you'll be able to use a dictionary to check meaning 
and then you extend understanding of the words associated with home. All right, so um, you are at home. I hope you have a dictionary that you can use it. If you don't have, don't worry. You know how to use a digital um, dictionary anyway. Um, speaking, uh, you'll be able to explain the reason you provided as a solution for a home problem, meaning there was a problem in the home, okay? And then you gave a solution. You are able to give um, a reason why you gave that solution. All right, okay. Um, and then how to know whether you are successful or not is very easy. In your reading, you'll be able to look at the surrounding words. First of all, just if one word, this is the same thing I've explained over and over again. It's just to review. You look at the words surrounding that word to try to guess the meaning of the word. And we are looking for words connected to home, huh? And then you will use a dictionary. I allow you whether to use a digital or print to confirm the guess, the guess that you made in the first one, okay, or extend understanding of words associated with home, All right? And then for your speaking, you'll be able to provide at least two reasons for the solution provided for a home problem. Here, home problem, we're not talking about parents arguing or whatever, um, or all that, now siblings um, quarreling, no. This is talking about, you know, something goes, um, go, uh, spoil like the fridge, refrigerator gets breakdown, uh, the oven doesn't work, that kind of home problem we are talking about. And then you use phrases such as, I think, you know, that we should do this, or I feel that this can be solved this way, or I believe. And appropriate sentence connectors such as therefore, I think, you know, that we should call the plumber, therefore, what or however, we don't have, we don't, no plumber can come to the house now because of the um, movement control order, right? And then to explain the reason provided as a solution for a home problem given. Right. Hi, morning, Aiden. Morning, cluster. Okay. So this is your textbook, page fifty-eight. If you have the textbook, look at the textbook. Right. Uh, good morning, Sri. Um, you will see a better, clearer picture because I couldn't find the nice picture such as the one on page fifty-eight. Okay. So you look at that picture, which is the first page of your unit. Right. Uh, about homes, right? It shows you a hill showing, I, I do not know how to pronounce this word, Yushisar Castle Cave Houses. The houses are built on a cave, huh? um, it's in Turkey. I'm watching a Turkish movie, you know, uh, not Turkish movie, a Turkish series. Um, crazy, right? But I'm watching it online and this is something out of topic. It's so weird that each episode is about two hours long. Um, and there are 28 episodes, if I'm not mistaken. So I've watched up to 12 episodes while doing work and watching at the same time. All right, so you have this. Um, okay, I want you to list and write down in the chat. Hi, Cheryl. Hi, dear. Yes, my children think I'm crazy watching Turkish series. List as many words associated with the word home. Right? Words related to home. Any words that you can think of related to home? Shelter, right? Good form, shelter. Hut, good, Ruth, house, right? FND, not FND, sorry, Eiffel, right? So, <coughs> family, right? Li Hong, mansion, good. Wei Chun, bedroom, excellent. Any more? Furniture, yes, yes. Um, is it Sarinia? Kopira, she's Sarinia, right? Okay, a child of Muhammad, bathroom, all right. Dia, living. Um, I think you are saying living room like Mok says, right? Living room, good. Any more? 
Oh, I like Miss Hazy. Kitchen, bedroom, bathroom, living room. Yes, good. All right, I'm glad I got it right, Sharinya. Aiden, dining room. Yes, everyone is sitting at the dining room because now they can't go anywhere. They just want to sit down and eat and feast. And soon all of you can't wear your school uniform when you go back to school next year. Right, garage. Mm. Ballet, right? Apartment, right, Lee Hong? <laughs> anyway, there are so many dining hall, dining hall, dining hall, dining room, living room. Bedroom, master bedroom. Nobody remember the bathroom. Okay. Right, garage. Okay, talking about a bed, nan, um, I feel. All right, a butler. Mm, okay, rich people will have a butler. Okay, right. You all should know a lot of words relating to home because all of you are staying home right now, right? Yeah, so there's a lot of words you can think of, right? I like the uh, dining room, kitchen, living room, home office. Yes, now everyone got home office, school office, right? Bedroom, bathroom, master bedroom, garage. Yes. Okay. Let's continue. Right, so on um, sorry, on page 57, describe the picture and read the caption. Okay, you have a hill. Sorry, yeah, it's on page 57, not 58, the front page. You should it shows a hill that has the castle, right? Okay, how would you describe um the picture that you see on your uh textbook? If you don't have the textbook, the one that you see that I've uh posted on the uh, PowerPoint. Home office, yes, Shanfong. Home office is another one. Okay, Tarvina, dressing table. Yes, now you look in front of the dressing table all the time, right, Tarvina? Princess Tower, Ruth, and dangerous home. Is that what you think it is? Hmm. All right. Anyone else can explain to me? Okay, I'm just going to explain to you that this place in Cappadocia is located in central Turkey. All right, it is is designated as a World Heritage Site in 1985, okay? And it was formed by deposits from erupted volcanoes three to nine million years ago. Wow, that's a long time, right? And then these deposits became eroded by wind over time. So they form spectacular chimneys. Chimneys is a place where, you know, um, air can go in and out, usually the smokes go out. So the rock was soft enough for people to start digging into and to make homes for themselves, right? So today, the area is a popular tourist site, okay? So you, I just gave you some background information about um, this place. For me, it's like magnificent, okay? It's beautiful. Yeah, exactly. Wouldn't know, right? Yes, it's inside the hill. So, imagine that, right? So, this is how it looks like. Okay. Right. Now, you will have, this is what I'm talking about, all right? <coughs> I was telling you about this. You can have a read for a while, okay? You can, uh, visit, you can go and read more by using this uh, website if you're interested, right? To find, to read more if you love, if you're a person who loves to know about other people's uh, places, okay? You're intrigued by it. Okay, so you can go and vi uh, visit the webpage, right? 
Okay. Now, who are these people? Mm. Who are these people? I don't know who these people are. The first picture. Who are these people? Man worker, right? Fong said man worker. Any more? Cons con constructors. Constructors. Roof on construction workers, right? Engineer, okay. Construction worker, all right. Child of Muhammad Builder, all right. Cluster is retirement center count. Is, is a retirement center count as a home? Uh, yeah, definitely. A retirement home is a retirement home. Okay, engineer, right, builder. Um, do engineer really go and do stuff like that? That's my question. Do engineer really go and put stuff like that and knock things? Contractors. All right. Okay. Well, we will see what they, what is it. <laughs> The second picture. All right, Sri Darshini say builder. Okay, second picture. Painter, right? Painter. Any more? Any other words that you want to use to describe this man? Painter, painter. Everyone seems to. Agree that it's painter, um, Darvina, Eiffel, Child of Muhammad, Li Hong, uh, Mok, Tashmita, Zinyin, Dia, Nushin, Cheryl, Fong, Wei Chun, Aiden, um, Sharinya, Ruth. Okay, right. Next picture. Mm. Thank you, Cluster. Cleaner. <laughs> Cleaner, right. Most in the family they don't clean their house they have cleaners coming in to clean right but uh, the MCO or the movement control order has made many people start cleaning their house on their own unless they have a living mate right all right janitor mate okay everyone mother poor Ruth that's how you see your mother machine there's a difference you know between a cleaner and a janitor Mushin and uh, cluster, right? Servant, hmm, hmm. Okay, all right. I have okay, okay. Good. You are very lucky, uh, Li Hong. You have two. I am the servant. I am the mate. I am the cleaner. I am the mother. I'm everything. Okay, I'm the head of the family. Everything. So you can imagine, right? The next picture. No, Li Hong, you're not lazy. You're considered privileged. Right, next picture, everyone. Plumber. Are you sure he's a plumber, dear? He's, what is he doing, dear? Look properly, dear. Electrician, electrician. Mok says electrician. Li Hong says electrician. So did Fong. Anyone else? Okay, child of Muhammad, electrician, Saranya says he's a plumber. Are you all looking at a different picture in your textbook? Look at the one that I've put on the PowerPoint. Electrician, Nushin, Tarvina, Cluster H. What's the difference between janitor and a cleaner? Mm. 
Interesting, isn't it? So something that we are going to look out for, electricians, electricians. Okay. Any more? Any other answers? Ah, oh, I like Nushin. Nushin said a janitor is a caretaker or doorkeeper of a building. Right. We'll come to that in a while. Nushin, thank you so much uh, for uh, contributing to that. <laughs> Li Hong, you're very funny. Okay. Cluster, I'll give you a clearer, uh, you should give a very clear one, but i explain better to you. Okay, the last picture, I think, was what many of you who said just now, and this is men look so happy with the thumbs up about what he's doing. Okay. So, what is, who is he? What's he doing? Or not what's he doing? What job is he? All right, he's a plumber. Plumber, plumber. Make sure when you pronounce plumber, B is silence, even though there is B. It's not plumber, it's plumber, right? So be um, clear with that. I, oh my God, Mario, I know they are all plumbers, is it? I didn't know that. Today is a new thing that I learned. Mario is a plumber, a happy plumber, right? Okay, right, okay, good. So you, you call the first one a builder or construction worker is fine. Uh, construction worker is very Malaysian language. You can call them a builder. And then um, this person, painter. Uh, there are two types of painter. One that, you know, um, the one that do art are always called an artist. Uh, the one that paint the wall are usually called a painter. We like to call everyone who paints on the canvas as a painter. All right, so um, this is a painter and then you have the cleaner, right? So I want to explain to cluster the difference between a janitor and a cleaner. A janitor is someone who looks after the maintenance and cleaning of a public building. So it's a public building, usually schools, government officers, big officers, they have janitor, right? So they look after the whole building uh, maintenance meaning if the door is spoiled, something is spoiled, the building, um, the aircon is not working, the janitor is in charge of it. And also the cleaning part. Whereas a cleaner's job is just to clean floors, windows, and any other things that has to do with the cleaner. Right, yes, Li Hong, artist is a very um, white um, concept. So it can be a person who paints Art on a canvas is also an artist. A singer is also an artist. And a person who plays an instrument is also an artist. Okay? Right? Um, let me continue. Then you have, I, I hope cluster you is clear for you now, electrician, and then you have the plumber. Right? Okay, let's continue next. For the first activity, what kind of problems can buildings have? and who fixes them. So what kind of problems can a building have in your house? We don't have to go to, to big buildings, but your own building that you have in your own house, what kind of problems can your uh, building have? Right? I'm sure you have been staying in the house for nearly how many months, how long? This is one month plus, right? Since March, not March, since, yeah. I think it's a month that you've been home. Water leakage, right. Okay. Yes, you can have water leakage. Ruth has no problem in the house. Wow. Oh, Ruth. Oh, I, sorry, Ruth, I didn't see handsome plumber. Hmm, someone is interested in the plumber now. Okay. Short fuse. Okay. The house is really dirty. Yes, Aiden. Uh, toilet might be broken and you need to get a plumber. Water leaking, yes, Darvina. Right? So, if 
you have um, the bathroom light doesn't work, right? Who's going to fix a bathroom light that doesn't work? Exploded microwave. Wow, happened to you. That is something that I always worry. What happened? Exploded microwave. Okay. Electric brake. Broken lights. Yes. So who's going to fix a bathroom light that doesn't work? <laughs> I like that machine. Yes, when I was young, my dad is the person who fixed everything in the house. Um, electrician, electrician. Yes. The olden days, men, the men usually, they are the person who repairs everything uh, on their own. But now we are so pampered that we don't even know how to change a, ba a bathroom light. Okay, right. But you might, if it doesn't work, you, you might change the bulb if the bulb uh, fuse has blown. All right. But um, if it's something to do with wiring, then we have to call the electrician. Okay. So, yeah, very good, yeah. What about there is water under the ki um, kitchen sink? There is water under the kitchen sink. Who would be the person that you would want to fix it? Plumber, right. Sorry, yeah, very good. Right. Lama, excellent, wonderful, good, great. <laughs> Ruth, Ruth, today you, are, you really make me laugh, Ruth, with all your answers. Interesting answers, why with the towel. Yeah, if it keeps on dripping, Ruth, how many, how many towels are you going to use? Hmm. Okay, what about if there is a storm that damages your house roof? Yes, dear, the plumber will fix water under the kitchen sink. Good, dear. Right, Hezzy. All right, you want to find a builder. Yes, um, Sarinia and Zinyin. Yes, a builder. Right. Okay, builder. Okay, good. What if your house is really dirty? Who would fix them for you so that it becomes clean? A cleaner, right? Good. All right. Yes. Yes. Right. Chan Fong. Okay. Tarvina, Hezi, Zinyin, Tashmita. Excellent. Okay. Right. Yeah. He, um, Li Hong, yes. And then the walls are a, bo are a boring color. Okay, your house wall is all just white. So it's boring for you, especially right now that we are staying home and we're just facing the four walls day and night. So it's so boring just to look at the same color. Right, so. Okay, excellent. Good, all of you doing very, very well. Okay, awesome. So you have to see what the answer is. I also don't know what the answer is. Did I put the answer? Or didn't I put the answer? Okay, so the bathroom light doesn't work. It goes to the electrician. You're all correct. There is water under the kitchen sink. So you have the plumber. You're all right just now. The storm damaged the roof. And then you have the builder, the house is really, really dirty. Li Hong said we can clean ourselves, but if you don't want to clean yourself, then you get the cleaner. And then the walls are a boring color. And so you get a painter. So you all did extremely well for this activity. A is very, very simple, right? Okay, let's look at activity B. Now, you have... A problem in your home. Tell what the problem is and we all will tell you who to call for help. 
This is actually to practice your speaking. So we're just going to do a few. For example, okay, one of you going to write, all of you are going to write a problem. Okay, what I want you to do is each of you look at the problems that is written, including yours, and you choose other people's problem to solve it. So if just say, for example, let's do it this way. Yeah? For example, Nushin writes a problem. Nushin say, um, the bathroom is, uh, is having, the sink in the bathroom is leaking. Right? So just say Chan Fong wants to answer, answer Nushin's a problem. So she will say, I think you need a plumber. Remember, I think, I believe, right? Um, okay, I, I think you need a plumber, all right? Or you need a plumber. So you have to mention the name Nushin, you need a plumber. So if the child of Muhammad wants to talk to Cluster, Cluster say there is a problem, problem so the child, child of Muhammad will say Cluster, I think or I believe you need an electrician. So basically that, all of you are going to write a problem there and you have to choose someone else's problem to give a solution by using I think, I feel or I believe. All right, and then give a reason why. Give a reason why. Can you do that? Right, let's start. Okay, Ruth has given a problem. Eiffel has given the problem. Yes, yes, definitely Eiffel. It can be any, it can be more than the five person. It can be, right? Okay. Um, Sharinya, you need to, who, who you think should call the electrician? Who, are you talking to Ruth? Aiden, who? All right, um, Eiffel, you, you are right, you, you um, said Ruth one. Okay, Ruth one, I think you can get an electrician, right? Poor ventilation where? Good, exactly, wonderful, Eiffel. Yes, dear, excellent. All right, Nushin has given a problem. Anyone wants to tell Nushin what to do? Good, Miss Hazy has given a problem. Now you've got Nushin, Hazy and Wei Chun. All three of them has given problems in their house. We need to help them solve the problem. All right. Eiffel has given a problem. Good child of Muhammad. Yes, Nushin, I think you need a cleaner. Exactly. Wei Chun also good. I think you need good. Right. Tarvina, excellent. But you need to tell who you are talking about to Narvin, uh, Tarvina. Nushin, right? Okay, Chan, the air conditioning is something not... Uh, the, the problem is the air conditioning is not cold. Is that it for... Right? Excellent. <laughs> oh, Kong Chun, you're asking Wei Chun to buy a new one. Well, the question is, um, Kong Chun, you have to tell who to call for help. 
buying a new one is not asking for help, right? Okay, Eiffel, you can get a cleaner if you've got the money, all right? I think you should get a cleaner, all right, if you have the money. All right, Aiden, good. You should call an electrician. I like they are very good since you are lazy to clean up then then T H E N. There's a difference. P H A N is to compare. T H T H E N is to say therefore. Right? I think you need an electrician, Darwina. Right. Okay, good. Excellent. So these are things you can say to your friends when you are explaining to your friends. Right, today's lesson is very, very simple. It's just to make you enjoy. So the conclusion is, ah, because you know why? You didn't use the dictionary. You're supposed to use the dictionary to find meaning of words. You didn't do that. So now I'm going to ask you this question. Okay. Everyone get ready. I want you to look for the meaning of this word. Okay. Your house is on fire. Um, Eiffel, you should call the fire department. Okay? Right. Can uh, we all pay attention to this last part? Because I want to see who will be the first person to give me the meaning of this word. So are you all ready? I don't know where you're going to find the meaning. You find it in your dictionary or in digital up to you. Okay. What is the meaning of this word? Yacht. Yacht. I want to see the answer on the chat. Who would be the first? Wow, Nushin. Ooh, I feel like Nushin. Did I leak the PowerPoint to you, Nushin? Ooh, I feel that I leaked the PowerPoint presentation to Nushin. Nushin, you are flying high today in today's lesson, Nushin. Excellently well. Right. So many things going on at the same time. Give me time. Right. Hmm. Yes. I, uh, I didn't give Nushin hack. She hacked my computer. She's a hacker. She hacked into my computer and found all the work. And that's why she was ready with the answer. Okay. Right. Oh, you really, Nushin? You can see it in black? I couldn't see it. Well, oh, yes. Oh, God, you're so sharp, your eyes. I'm amazed. Okay, right. So you're all right. It's a circular tent of felt or skins on a collapsible framework used by nomads in Mongolia, Siberia, and Turkey. Okay, so this is how it looks like for those of you when you look at the meaning of the words, okay, and you still uh, don't know how it looks like just by the words. So this is a picture that I've got it for you. So this is what a yacht looks like, right? Exactly, I feel she has the glasses is, you know, powerful, okay, sharp detail. Right, fantastic. You all did extremely well. Right? So the next lesson will be not on Monday. You see, like, oh my God, I didn't change it. Sorry. Next lesson will be on Wednesday. All right. Uh, let me get it right. Next lesson will be on Wednesday. All right. At what time? Wednesday on the 22nd of April at 9 a.m. to um, 10 p.m. Right? Old age. And I've done it wrongly. Okay? So it will be on Wednesday 10. Right. Okay? Any questions that you want to ask? 
All right, it's a very simple activity today just to enjoy your lesson and then I'll see you on Wednesday. If there is no question, that is the end of the lesson. So we will be looking into reading in detail on Wednesday. All right, so that's the end. Goodbye, take care and see you soon. Thank <laughs> you.